Good morning, everybody. Good morning. From a bright and sunny. He will put me in the sun. <laughs> Bullers of Buchan. Bullers of Buchan. Say it properly. I'm Bullers not sure of Buchan. What I'm saying. Bullers of Buchan. Bullers of Buchan. <sighs> no, that were Irish, wasn't it? Bullers of Buchan. Okay, this is supposed to be one of the most spectacular views in Scotland. It says Mazzy. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, so we'll just walk down a little footpath from the car park. It's only 50 metres or so. It's already a beautiful view down there. I don't think you can... The problem is the sun is very, very low. Although it's a lovely sunny morning, I think it's going to play havoc with our shading on us videos. But hopefully we'll still get you some cracking views. But this is where we're heading. Yeah, the sunlight is not going to help our shots today. It's a good day though, really beautiful. Do not go any further than the brown bit, yeah, I'm telling you now. <laughs> he won't let me anywhere near him, but it's scary, it's really Here. high. Here you go. It's basically, they call this the pot, and they reckon this was a cave once upon a time, but it's all like fallen in. And you've got this beautiful archway down there now. It almost looks a bit like a quarry. The problem being, yeah, the sun is not getting into it. You see how it's just touching the edge there? If the sun was directly above, this would look incredible. I think we've got some beautiful shots so far, haven't we? On the special camera? Yeah, I'm going to have a go now. Alan? Uh, yeah, we're just doing a bit of a mu music montage. There's not really much to talk about here, is there? There's not, it, the, but it's just beautiful, so it's not we a may as well place. just show the beauty. Yeah, Don't we'll have to talk about it, do we? Yeah, there's nothing to say. We'll just show you this uh, little music montage. It's not for the faint-hearted. No. If you're scared of heights, don't come here. No. You'll be a bit clumsy on your feet, like me myself. <laughs> don't come here. So this is where we're aiming for, this big one here. I don't know, I'm imagining that's going to be quite good. Wow! Oh my gosh, it's amazing! <laughs> yeah, but that's about it. It Nothing is beautiful well, though. Yeah. There's no water down that side. Not worth seeing. Good, isn't it? Yeah. I love the craggy bits on the rocks there. Can't beat a craggy rock, can you? <laughs> no. Right, we're done here. Yes, we've got a long day ahead, so we're not spending too long here. No. But that was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm hoping we're going to get into Peter Head now. But it all depends on whether we can park or not. Can't get away from this sun today. <laughs> Chasing you. Right, a massive thank you to Graham who came to see us last night. Yes. How we found out where we were, I will never know. Yes. Because we didn't even know where we, we were going to no, be. No. <laughs> but he found us and thank you so, 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 so much. For the Christmas card. Graham and Donna, thank you Graham and so Donna. much. Yeah. And the cool thing is, it yeah. says Cruden oh, yes. Bay on it. Can you see that? It's so good. Crudden Bay, which is where we were. You know the harbour part where you had to pay £10 for the night donation? It's just next to there. 
Inside. So they just live there? Yeah. So we got our first Christmas card. Yeah, it's his first one on the yeah. 1st of December we got that. Oh, no, second. You, second. Thank you both for our little gift as well. Yeah. We Amazing. Thank you so much. It. Thank you. Right, let's try and get yes. on. To, I'm just worried about parking in Peterhead. Let me stick my first card up. <laughs> if I can get parked in Peterhead, there is like a, a trail, a town trail you can follow. It shows you all the good bits which I, I like. So we'll see. Yes. Why are we doing this? I don't know. <laughs> so we managed to get parked just down a side street in quite a good location for us because we're starting at this church. Yay! It's actually a six minute walk to the church mm. if you go on the road, but you can just cut across the playing fields. No one minds. We are going around the whole town today. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no idea what to expect here at all, I'll be honest with you, but I do know there's like a trail, a history type trail. And it starts here. And it starts at this church, yeah, so I'm going to try and follow that, but it's more about seeing Peterhead, really. Oh, the town? I thought you meant the port. Are we going to go down there? No, we won't be going down there. What is it with you and cranes and ports and <laughs> boats? <laughs> I don't mind, you know, a nice quaint harbour, yes, but you're addicted to rough-looking ports. It's just fascinating. This is what we're trying to follow, the Peterhead Trail. And it starts at Old St Peter's Church, churchyard. Um, started back in 1647, stopped using it in 1771. Don't think it's even there now, but they still use the churchyard. That's not that impressive, is it, Mazzy? Not so far from honest, no. Sometimes, like, they put things on a trail in certain towns. Just for the sake of it. Just for the it. sake of it, yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, I'd rather that than nothing. Yeah. It's a beautiful day for walking around the town. Yeah, it's, up, it's still cold, but it's beautiful. It's better than yesterday. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I've got a big apology to make. You think this is number one? This is the start of the trail. Hey, look, you can scan. And then we'll know what, exactly what we're doing, we're not guessing. I know what I'm doing, I'm not stupid. <laughs> so, Peterhead Old Parish Church, Muckle Kirk. Okay, so that's where we're starting. There's an interesting fact here, if we can find it, Mazzy. Here's the church. Can you see any stained glass windows? Let's just take around the other, walk around the other side, because it's quite an interesting fact. Okay, yeah. So here's the church, the kirk. But what we're looking for is a stained glass window, and we're not... Get up there. Can you see it? Well, it's not fancy. Well, it's a tiny... Oh, they might mean this, Mazzy. Here we go. Stained glass windows here. I'm guessing they mean this one. You can't see it from... Yeah, they mean this one. That don't look original. You can't see it from the inside. But from the outside, it'll look brilliant from inside. It's actually Christ on there. It's got a name, can't remember it, but it's called the Toffee Window. Do you know why, Mazzy? Because it's all smashed up like bits of toffee. No. No? Because it was paid for by little old ladies selling toffee. Oh. Isn't that cool? So every bit of that was financed by little old ladies selling toffee. Oh, that's so cute. I would have bought some. So next time you see us all with rotten teeth in Peterhead, don't have a go, all right? We did that. We've come back to the sign because Mazzy saw this. The new church was close to the town Midden. What is a Midden? Where human and animal waste was disposed of. The stench was so bad, um, but it has been moved out of town now. What's a Midden? It's middle. obviously where they get rid of human and animal waste. Yeah. But Midden? I've never heard that can word I, before. Can I say another fact? Of course you can. You said this was number one, it's number two. Yes, I know it's number two. Look, I'm not right good with this map. You're not very good so far, are you? I've got an interesting toffee fact in. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> we appear to be in the centre now, Mazzy. Yeah, smaller than I was expecting. It's got a, I don't know, it's got a bit of a miserable feel to it, hasn't it? I don't yeah, know if it's just the well, weather. I will. <laughs> I haven't mentioned it to you, but it does feel like that. Uh, you've got Drummer's know. Corner here, Mazzy. Drummer's Corner, there used to be a drummer there. Yeah. And I think he used to just beat his drums to warn people when storms were coming or trouble were coming or something, okay. I don't know. Okay. 
So that's why it's called that. I just wanted to show you that look, a German Donner kebab place. Oh, nice. German Donner. If you ever see this, any signs for Donner kebabs anywhere, what's a German Donner, get them. Because they are the best in the world. They're actually made by Turkish people. It's just my look, this. Everywhere I go. <laughs> road works, road works, path Aberdeen. works, path works, road works. <laughs> you know, anywhere, like that's one of the town's main attractions is this uh, weird thing here. And you can't get to it because uh, they're doing it all out. Gutted. Now that's a Christmas tree. Oh, he's going to start on his machine again. As soon as I want to talk, he kicks off with that machine. That's a proper Christmas tree, about 12 foot tall. You don't need any bigger than that. It looks dead at the bottom. Why is it flapping like that? I don't know. I do think some places spend too much money on Christmas trees in towns. You know, you're paying for your own it's Christmas tree. beautiful. Stop boning now. You're not going to do this all day. That'll do. Probably about £30 from Garden Centre. That's all you need. I'd rather listen to that than you all day now. Iceland, Lazzy. Iceland. We're not sponsored. You're you making it look like we're sponsored. You can't beat an Iceland. <laughs> you're not a proper town if you haven't got an Iceland. If yeah. you've got an Iceland, I believe, if you've got an Iceland, you call the city. And if you haven't got an Iceland, you just call the town. Is that true? Yes, Mazzy. <laughs> if you need some glasses, go to this shop. Sex shop, but someone's uh, changed it to sex shop. <laughs> you've got to laugh, you've got to laugh. We're just talking to a man. A man just came over to us and says, yeah. says, You're travellers, aren't you? Yeah, how do you know? Well, I can just tell because everyone else is just walking like that and you're walking around like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a beautiful statue. Yeah, I spotted her. She's gorgeous. I'd like to know the story. Well, I do know the story, actually. Oh, do you? Is this on our list, the trail? This is on the list, I think. No, I did watch a video last night and a lady showed this. It's, I don't know, something to do with it being a fishing village or something. Fisher Jesse. Fisher Jesse. The Fisher Jesse sculpture was unveiled 2001. The sculpture depicts the traditional trade between the fishing and agricultural communities. Yeah, not that exciting, but a lovely, it lovely is bronze gorgeous. statue. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's the fact I wanted to what? tell you. I did have a fact about this. Yeah. The guy who made this is the same guy who made the kelpies. Good, it? This was his first ever commissioned work. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? That's I'm a genius, aren't I? I'm a genius. If I dig deep enough into there, I come out with these facts. <laughs> Field Marshal Keith, born at Inverusi, 1698, killed at the Battle of Hochkrichen. I don't, some, I don't understand. Why is it here? not to do with Peterhead, you want them all near. <laughs> you know, if you're going to put someone right outside your town hall, you'd have someone born here, wouldn't you? Yeah, don't know him. Field Marshal Keith. Sure he were a lovely man. No, he doesn't look a love. No, he looks a bit miserable. No, I don't like him. Let's move on. <laughs> I can smell fish and chips, by the way, and I'm thinking fish and chips. Okay, not the best shot with a street light on it. Hang on, let me move over. You can't really see it, but it's a golden lion up there. Got a seagull on his head at the moment. And this is the Reform Monument. Not very exciting, let's be honest, but it was erected in 1833 to celebrate the passing of the Reform Bill. Don't know what the Reform Bill is. Not interested. I do like the golden lion. Yeah, the he golden lion's cute. cool, but you just can't see it on this camera. It's too high up. Yeah, there's a bird on his... Oh, there was a bird on his head. <laughs> Heroes transport tourists and tragedy. Let me have a good read. I might have a story to tell you. 
Do you want an incredible story? This one's really sad but interesting. Sad but it? amazing. Yeah. Right. The, during World War II, was it? Yeah, 1941, September the 29th, they came yeah. to bomb the harbour here, but the mist. Mm -hmm. The mist. Some of the bombs came down here. Now, that house there is number nine Broad Street. That got blown up. The people who lived there got blown up. Its piano came out of there, blasted through the air, and I'm going to tell you the rest of the story down here. We're going right to the end of this street where the chimney's going up. It landed over there. So further than the big spire here, it flew through the air, did this piano, and it landed through the roof of this house. Now, it used to have a very ornate tiled roof, and they replaced the chimney, it had gone smashed a chimney, they replaced all that area um, with new tiles so you could tell exactly where it had gone in, but we're not seeing it, are we? No. I... We don't know if they've uh, put new tiles on since or what, but no. what an interesting story. 30 residences had died in the village, including the couple that actually owned the piano. Yeah. Very sad story. Very sad story, a lot yeah. of children as well. Yeah, a lot of children. I, I'm just in shock that a piano could go all that way. It's nearly 100 metres. But everything's a piano, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> what a story. Yeah. Peterhead Intelligence Base Headquarters in World War II. So this is probably what they were trying to bomb, Mazzy. Yeah. Now this yeah. is called the Graving Dock. And all I can imagine is it's because it looks like it's where the ships would come to be repaired in here. Like a graveyard for ships, that's all I can think of why it's called that. What's catching my eyes? You know, you've got this, you've got over there, look, you've got a... Uh, what do you call them? Forklift. Loads of scrap metal everywhere and a beautiful Christmas tree. They've gone to effort. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> It's pretty impressive. Just think of all the work what's gone over there, Maz. It's gone on there for hundreds of years. Yeah. I'll tell you what it'd make now. What? A really good gladiator arena. You know, you've got somewhere to sit all the way around. A theatre? A theatre, yeah. Anyway. This Christmas tree is bigger than the one in the town centre. <laughs> <laughs> in 2006, BBC One broadcast the first episode of Trawler Men. A documentary following the lives of trawler crews based around Peterhead. You know, if BBC get onto one of their blackboards, surely there's going to be a new one made saying something like the Travel Trawls made a serious documentary here. <laughs> 15,000 people saw the documentary. Yeah. You better do, Peterhead. Nice little uh, lighthouse there. Fisherman's Friends. Done by someone called Glenn Brooks. Yeah, I like that. Very arty. Can't be bothered with this one. If you want to read a bit about it, there you go. Do your pausing and stuff. Fill your boot. The main reason I've come over here is because there's a cannon behind me. And I was excited, but I'm not now. Because it's a replica. It's a replica of a Russian cannon. I don't, I don't understand why they do replicas. You know, if you ain't got the main, if you ain't got the real thing, just don't bother. I don't know what this board's about. Too many words, not reading it. But this is where we've just been, you see. See the big column there, the reform statue thing. Look at all the people gathered outside there. That's unbelievable. Have you noticed when you see old black and white pictures? Like on beaches and things, there's always mass crowds on the beaches, on the streets, everywhere. 
There's no one on the streets now. Everyone's indoors playing on their Xboxes and Playstations. In them days, everyone were on the streets. Jamaica Street. I don't think there's aught to say about this place, do you, Mazzy? I've got a little story. You've got a story? Yeah. What about Jamaica Street? Yeah, apparently they found a well here and um, it soon become uh, the Scotland's most famous sparkling water. People from all over the country used to come here and because it used to cure illnesses and ailments, um, all sorts of things. People who had bad dreams, people who couldn't sleep, things like that. Yeah. Just and, a guess, I don't know. And then I think it was the, was it the masonry or something? The masonic. Masonic something, whatever. Brought it, brought the house next to it, but they used to let all the people come, oh, just back. They used to let all the people in the town come and just help themselves to the water and that. Mm. But the building's now knocked down. But actually, under the road is still all the rooms because the building had loads of secret rooms. That's incredible. Because I'll tell you what, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> I've been <laughs> really clever. <laughs> she didn't want me telling the story. She showed me the board it was on. I tried reading it. I must have lost interest after about two lines. Do you know I do what that. it is? He reads half a board. So when he's reading half, I'm reading the other half. You know what's wrong with me? You've got short span memory and short span of everything, really. When, <laughs> whenever I read anything, I don't know why, I never start at the beginning. I always start like halfway through or I near do, end. But I always start halfway through at the end, me thinking you're starting at the beginning. No, I never read beginning. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but I did not know that about uh, the rooms are still under the street. That's fascinating. I'd love to yeah. get in them. I forget what the well looks called now, but... Um, well, it eventually got called the Wine Well. Oh, that's it. Yeah, the Wine Well. For some reason. <laughs> Been smelling fish and chips. Been mm. fancying fish and chips. Been searching for fish and chips. Looked on Google. No fish and chips. Nope. There is fish and chips. It was strange because we thought we could smell it. Over the road there. Where is it? You might be able to see all the people stood outside. School kids are on the lunch and it's heaving with school kids, so we can't get any. It says it's famous. It's famous fish and chips. Yeah. Xander is. What's time? The kids will be back at school in a minute. They'll be queuing up for an hour, Mazzy. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. We'll get some fish and chips in the next few we days, shall we? We walk back. We walk. I'd like We're some not coming chips. back this way. Aww. We're nearly done with Peter Head now. Bigger than we thought, actually, because we went through yes, the middle and then we found this road going off. We were about to call it a day, weren't we, thinking that was it? Yeah. And then we came across this, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with Peterhead as a place. You yeah. Know, you're not overly mad on it, are you? No, I like it. Why'd you say that? No, I think you were expecting it to be... Bigger, but now we could bigger. turn down here and realise it is actually bigger. Um, yeah, I like it's it. It's nice. It's got yeah, a nice like feel it. about it. Yeah. I don't know how well that picture's going to show up, but it's beautiful. Little dandelion clock with the weeds coming off. It's definitely not showing its beauty. No, because it? it's actually made, most of these stems is just glue. Glitter glue. It's glitter glue, yeah. It's just yeah. the way it's shining in the sun, it looks beautiful. Guitar one there. That's brilliant, isn't it? And this is pretty. Do you know what this reminds me of? Go on. Placing Island, me and you went up the little lane like that. You, do you know what I mean? I don't know where you mean. It was the Game of Thrones yes. place. I was hearing on the news that the last storm knocked another three trees down oh, there. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of Peterhead. I mean, we fully enjoyed ourselves today, didn't we? Yeah, we certainly did. I like I've got a good feel about it. Yeah, we, we just counted our steps. We did over 7,000. So we're there a little, little longer than we planned to. Three mile. Just over three mile, that's all. Yeah, and we do like to put our own twist on these tales. A travel troll. A travel troll. I can't even talk. A travel troll twist. Right, we're off to Morrison's now and to our overnight stop. Are you coming with us? Well, stick with us then. So now... We're parked up for the night. You're going to want to see where we are, aren't you? I know you are. You always do. So we'll do the same routine as we did last night. We'll show you outside, show you where we are, and then show you what we're having for tea. Oh, 
So here we go. This is where we are. Waters of Philorf Beach. It's just down there. You know, it's not a bad setup really. It's just outside Fraserburg. So we've just gone there. Oh, Mazzy's waving at you. <laughs> we wanted to, well, I wanted to park inwards with the door opening out here, but there were a big puddle. Um, and we still haven't got it right. There is still a puddle outside the door, so when we come out, we have to make sure we walk that way. But yeah, perfectly good. Um, the people who come out, dog walkers, tend to, there's another car park down the bottom nearer the beach, so leave them to it and we'll just stick up here. It's on park for night, so check it out. Um, right, let's show you what's for tea. Because everyone likes to know what we're eating. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so important to show you what we're eating, but something nice tonight. I'm really looking forward to this. Mazzy? Yeah, come in. What's for tea? Well, we're going <laughs> Iceland again, but it luxury range, okay? Yeah. Just on an average meal. Oh, I've been craving beef, as everybody knows. Yeah. So I've chosen beef, bourguignon. Beef, bourguignon and, and mash. mash. And that's what it looks like. But this is defrosted, actually. Well, can we go into light so I can see it? Well, it don't look nothing special. It doesn't do look it. anything like that. Let's not yet, that not way. yet. Not yet. No. And I'm having... Da -da 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 -da. I'm really looking forward to that. Steak Chianti Ragu. There you go, and that's what that looks like. That's going to look lovely as well. It's going to be nice. Um, On top of that, though, because we've got no fridge, yeah. Um, I'm cooking everything um, that needs cooking now today. Yeah. So that means the rest of my barbecue hula hoops, okay. which are fantastic. Look at the amount of those. I'll have a sprinkle of them on top of my ragu. Oh, I've got a whole bag of these. I can't see us wanting those, really. Oh, just sling it all in the oven. But main thing for me is my garlic bread. Yeah. I've just Cheap, been to Morrison's especially for that. garlic bread, yeah. 36, so about 36 pence. Well, I've told everybody how to do garlic bread. Cheaper the better. Yeah. And in the frying pan. If you ain't watched, then you're missing out. <laughs> um, what else? That's it. Just come yeah. back when it's ready. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. No, I am really looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. I'm actually starved. Well, I'm you always then. starving. Cook it. it. I? Cook it. Cook it, Mazzy. Yes. Cook it. <laughs> Just cook it. <laughs> So that's my tea with my garlic bread. This is Mazzy, what are they? Hula hoops. Hula hoops, barbecue. And this is a beef bouguignon with uh, right, uh, mash. mash. We're having to rush this. I'll tell you why any second now. Right, let's try it. No, I just want to say something quick. Right, We ain't done this meal no justice. Look at it. We left it in the oven cooking yes. while we were just enjoying snooker and we've left it in a bit long. Watching Ronnie O'Sullivan. So we ain't done this meal no justice. So I've got what? Like a ragu... I want a load of pepper. Pasta thing. You know me. <laughs> Do you want some pepper, darling? Mm -mm. No? Yours did look amazing, but it has dried out, so... It's very tasty. With... Uh, Mazzy's special garlic bread. Right, so we're going to go for the first bite. You ready? I've had a bite. Well, you did off, yeah, cheekily. I'll have a second bite. Go on then. Yeah. Mmm. It's not as exciting. Mine is. <coughs> this is not as great as I thought it was going to be. Really? No. Oh, come on, I mm. ruined it in the oven. It's lovely, but it's like a t it tastes like a tin of spaghetti bolognese. You know, like a Heinz spaghetti bolognese in a tin. It tastes like that, but it's very nice. This I'm happy with that. It's amazing. Do you want to try some of that? Yeah. Yeah, you see. <laughs> I got the best one. <laughs> That's like a proper meal. That's really nice. <laughs> We'll yeah. see you all tomorrow. You Take all have care. a lovely night. We're going down to the beach tomorrow. Oh, yes. Pepper. And Fraser Berg, hopefully. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.